Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashan Brown. Head of the Bank of Jamaica, Richard Biles, is this evening talking up the benefits of a national identification system needs. Mr. Biles says he's in favor of needs, especially because of the benefits it will bring to the banking sector. TVJ's Dwayne Anderson has more. The government indicated it will be returning with an improved version of the National Identification System NIDS after the initial version was deemed unconstitutional by the courts. The second coming of NIDS could be ready before the end of the current fiscal year in March 2020. That is likely to be music to the ears of Central Bank Governor Richard Biles, who is fully in support of NIDS. I'm particularly hopeful that the credit bureau issue can be resolved because uh, that and NIDS, some form of NIDS, are the keys to opening up opportunities. I got a little bit of a um, backlash on social media for saying that we need NIDS. But we do. Whether it's NIDS in the form that it came and uh, fell down or a new NIDS, we need a NIDS. Um, uh, it's key. Biles, the former head of Sajikor Bank, explained that local lending agencies in particular need a system like NIDS to improve how they do business. In banking, it, you can't really move forward without understanding who you're speaking to. Who is that sitting in front of you? The AML, CFT um, strictures will kill you every time. And we face it up in Washington. You know, when we go to speak to the Treasury and we speak to the Fed, uh, they are very concerned about this AML issue, and the way to deal with it is through NIDS. Mr. Biles was speaking in Kingston at a forum hosted by the Jamaica Bankers Association, JBA, and the private sector organization of Jamaica, PSOJ. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News. President of the private sector organization of Jamaica, PSOJ, Keith Duncan, has announced plans to train more small business leaders in an effort to make their operations more sophisticated. He said this is necessary to bridge the gap between small businesses and lending institutions. A big challenge for many small businesses is access to capital. This often hinders business growth or leads to the businesses failing. Therefore, a series of training sessions and workshops will be held. We can do more work in the simpler forms, application processes, etc., just to make it more friendly. While we work to bring the SMEs up, to a level of financial literacy where they need to be so we can close, we can continue to close this gap, right? So we have started the, the, the training, the, we have the conceptual framework for the training as how well. we look to roll it out. And we'll be working with the multilaterals to see if we can get some money to really get it done. You know what I mean? So um, I think it's an it's a excellent program. Key insurance company has informed the Jamaica Stock Exchange that its board is still deliberating whether to hold a rights issue or a capitalization issue. The directors will again meet on Monday to discuss the matter. The matter was discussed at a meeting on November 22. Key Insurance suffered a $305 million loss during the first nine months of its 2019 financial year. During the January to September period, its gross premiums amounted to $1.1 billion compared to $1.4 billion last year. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $136.29. The Canadian dollar cost $102.31. The pound sterling is going for $174.59, while the euro sold for an average $150.81. The JC main index advanced by 102 points today, while the junior market gained 38 points. Among the winners were Palace Amusements, Access Financial Services, Mayberry Investments, Express Catering, and T-Tech. On the losing side were Everything Fresh, 138 Student Living, Jamaica, Sterling Investments, Indies Pharma, and Stanley Motor. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Good evening.